Well, guess what? We're almost done. Uh, we have a couple more lessons left for you. Uh, the next one here is speed dial. Uh, speed dial is pretty simple. Uh, most of you are familiar with speed dials. Uh, I'm actually clicking on the speed dial option in the call manager to bring up the window so you can see what it looks like. Um, this is one of the features that actually transfers over to the telephone uh, for each user. So you'll actually have the ability on the phone to see those speed dials that you're putting on the call manager. Now this is a nice place to put personal numbers that you duly don't want in Outlook. They're just going to be contact numbers. They're not going to have a name reference to them. That really, or an email maybe that you don't want to put in there, but uh, maybe like a cell phone number or something that you want just on your call manager and you want to have access to it on the phone so that way uh, if the call manager isn't working or it's not running yet, maybe you shut your PC down, you can go ahead and hit the directory and find those speed dials. As well as when we add an entry, and let me show you how to add, add an entry here real quick. Um, all I do is click on there and it's going to bring this little dialog box and I'm going to put in the phone number so I'm just going to put in a phone number and it's going to try to match any number in the system including your Outlook contacts. So I'm going to put in there uh, 41561 uh, and I'm just making up a number here and I'm going to label it uh, home home like that. So I hit OK and now if you look on the speed dial it's got a little one right here. You'll notice that that you have a one. Well that's really important because that becomes a hotkey on the phone. So if I were to hold down the one key on the telephone it's going to dial that number without me having to uh, click on it on the call manager or look at it up in the directory. Now let's look at the phone for a second so you can see the directory and how the directory works on the phone. So I'm going to press the directory key on the telephone and you'll notice I have a new icon that says speed. If I hit that speed it's going to now list all of my uh, personal speed dials that I've created on my telephone that are not part of my Outlook contacts and not part of the system directory, the directory screen we just talked about in the last lesson. So um, the first nine of these will uh, populate the first uh, keys, actually the nine keys on your telephone and then anything after nine you're going to have to use the scroll key on the telephone or you're going to have to use uh, just double clicking on the call on the call manager. So to make a call I'm just going to double click on it and it, you see it's calling home right now. I'm going to hang up that. As well as if you're using your quick dialer and you're just typing in a number, if I type H-O-M-E, um, I'm also going to see that number populate in the list on the call manager uh, because it is now uh, a number that can be seen from your quick dialer. So the quick dialer has access to every single number, speed dials, Outlook and your directory. So uh, that's pretty much it for um, for that. Uh, speed dial is very, very nice. I use maybe five or six numbers. I don't use a lot of numbers there because I primarily put them in Outlook because I want email addresses. And I can put multiple uh, numbers in uh, for a person, individual, versus speed dial. It's a one number kind of uh, per entry. So yeah, they're kind of nice. But that's, uh, that's pretty much about uh, how we would use that speed dial tab.